At Outagamie County Recycling and Solid Waste, they want people in the neighborhood to be more careful about what they're putting in their recycling bins. I'm Olivia Akery, your Appleton Neighborhood Reporter, and I'll tell you how this will hold neighbors accountable. People think it's a parking ticket on your recycling. It's nothing like that. If you live in Outagamie County and have seen a tag like this on your recycling bin, or maybe your neighbors, it's because you had an item not fit for curbside recycling inside. Just to give you a heads up, hey, to keep these out of your cart for next time. Jordan Hiller at Outagamie County Recycling and Solid Waste tells us oops tags have no consequences. It's just a reminder. We started to notice a slight uptick in our residual rate. Residual is just means um, essentially the garbage that comes in that will ultimately go up this line that you see behind me, go to the compactor and go up to the landfill. Hiller explained that national residual rates are around 20 to 25 percent, but in Outagamie County, they've never been higher than 9 percent. We're very proud of that fact, and a lot of that has to deal with our residents that are sending in the right material, and we want to keep that trend going. The common four can be recycled items are glass, metal, paper, and plastic. And four common that can't be are shredded paper, plastic bags, styrofoam, and aerosol cans. Another item you can't put in your bin, batteries, like the ones we use at NBC26. These pose a fire risk. And Hiller tells us these fires have happened in the facilities before. We actually had two fires that happened. So this would either be a laptop battery or a rechargeable battery, and it actually went through our paper baler. So when it got inside, those lithium ion cells, when that baler started to squeeze it together, it actually caught fire and exploded inside the baler. Being conscious of what you're recycling is important for the facility's safety and to reduce waste in our landfills. For a complete list like this of what's recyclable and what isn't, visit NBC26.com. In Appleton, Olivia Akery, NBC26.